Rome, Alton Towers. On this very cold morning. For Scarefest. That's it. Ooh. Ooh. And it's chilly, so as you can see behind us, there is already some decoration out. There we go. So while we're here, we've got a uh, thing booked at 12 o'clock. What is it, Steph? Chuck a treat. Right. I love so chuck a treat. This dress is Mavis. From Hotel. Hotel Transylvania. Yes. Yep, so while we're here, obviously, we're going to get on some nights like Wicker Man. What's yeah. Steph? Yeah. To get on. I'm going to try and maybe get on Nemesis for the last time before it's refurbed. Yeah. So, might as well get this show on the road then, haven't we? Yep. Off we go. Off, Off we go. We go. to make the towers look impressive this morning cool so where we're we going first what's the first ride Millie Wicker Man Wicker Man right, let's find it The queue line now for Wicker Man. Can't you wait, Millie? Looks like a long queue today, but hopefully, it shouldn't be too long because we did get in the queue straight away. Uh, I dare say we'll speak to you again after the ride.
here we are in the Wicker Man shop. Hello, Steph. Hello. Some good merch here. Let's have a look at price. That's cool. So then, so then guys, let's just get to an extended position. What did you think to it? The Wicker Man. Oh, good. I must admit, it's worth coming on and tell us just for that ride. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. To be honest, when I was watching it, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it could be quite a tame ride. Yeah. And it's quite surprising. There you go. You hit it first, I must admit. I haven't been on many woodies, and that one, it's still got some speed, hasn't it? Yeah. And I had whips, and even, even the up and downs. Oh, yeah, they were surprising. Yeah. But then, let's see what else we can find at Alton Towers. We're heading towards the runaway mine train. Next ride. Oh yeah, we're going to the Grand Rapids. Here we go. This way, Miller. We're in the main entrance. We're not loaded like everybody else who's in fast track. <laughs> Oh look, there's that QR code if you wanted it. So yeah, all in towers, there's a QR code for taking photos, which we weren't aware of. Apart from uh, when we saw the first ride. Well, come on. Come on then. Where's our mum? Oh, we'll have to leave mum behind. <laughs> And that was the runaway mine train. Photo booth. <laughs> Mummy's there. Are you going to have a look in the shop? See what there is. What did you think to the ride, Millie, first? It was amazing. Yeah, it wasn't bad, too, that special. Got a bit of speed on it. Not bad for a runaway mine train, let's do it. Oh! Oh, a, a sloth! A sloth? What are these? Are they young? They're sweet. Sweeties. Teddies. Ooh. I'm not sure what this is to do with a runaway mine train. Some of the stuff you thought being a uh, wicker man. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. See them? Yeah. Alright then, guys, where are we going next? I don't know, I'm just looking. Uh, just looking for some. River Rapids, no, it's down. Well, it was. Uh, just check. Not seeing them on there. Let's have a look at. No, they're still down. No. 
Uh, that's just gone down and that one's still down. So... What should we go on? Let's see what everything else is on. Nemesis is 30 minutes. 13's on 30. Is 20. Nemesis is 10. Roller Disco 0. Oh, oh. Funky Flyer's reopened. Right. So funky we'll Flyer. Yes, yeah, that's where we're going. Funky Flyer. Off we go. And here we are, the famous jewel, been repossessed, or shall we say, closed for refurb, hopefully. Let's hope it comes back. So we're now in the Forbidden Valley, oh nemesis, I am your nemesis. We're going down here, Amelia. Nemesis, so how was it? Uh, it was alright to be honest, smooth, because it's that, you know what I mean, it's that type of coaster, but I would say obviously uh, that island's more intense, but yeah. There's plenty, there's plenty of rust on it, I think that's why they're retracking it. I remember it's been what, about 19 years? Yeah, I must admit it's age well. Because when I went on it years ago, it was like that. And it's still like that now, like 19, 20 years later. So yeah, good ride. But I need more intense, more speed. <laughs> and now we're going on Funky Fly.
which is like a super duper, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite fun. Yeah, what did you think of it, Millie? It was fun. It's fun, yeah. Yeah. I must admit, it's, it's very smooth, and to be honest, when you're watching it from the ground, it looks more intense. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a good flat ride. So it could do with a few more here, to be honest. The next one. Yeah. So far, the ride, big thumbs up for me. Yep. Right yeah. then, I think we're going to have some lunch. And, uh, and then, we'll, and then go. We'll, we'll go have a look around and see what else we can do. Cause well, I think we'll get pirate out and then have some lunch. All right. Get pirate boat out of my. See, you can tell who's the boss, can't you? Looks like it's pirate boat then, guys. I love pirate boat. Since we last boat here, we've been on the sky ride, we've had some lunch, and we're now on the other side of the parks. Oh, we're gonna go on Hex. I've never been on this. Have you, Steph? No. Nope. And Millie definitely won't have, so. Yeah. Let's see what Hex is all about, Millie. Millie is on driving school.
arrived. We've just done a couple of rides since we last saw you. We've been on Hex. Yeah. So what did you think to that, Millie? Fun. Yeah. What What did you say when you came off Hex when I asked you what you thought about it? You said, yeah. We went upside down, yeah. It gives you the illusion you're going upside down, yeah. but you're not really. Yeah. Uh, I've been on that before, Doug. I just remember that type of ride. Well, I uh, yeah, and now we've just been on the uh, fabulous Fandango, or whatever you want to call it. Flavio Fabulous Fandango. Yeah, which is what what it's we Twister. yeah what we call a Twister or Sizzler ride, and it's just over there. Yeah, it's David Walliams. Yeah. So, what did you think to that, Millie? Good. Good, yeah. We we didn't think it was going to go that fast, did we? But it well, really sped did. up, didn't it, last bit? I did. You would, wouldn't you, Millie? You just know everything, <laughs> don't you? It really, it really did speed up. It really yeah. did speed up. Yeah, I must, I must admit, when you get in it, it is a bit smaller than the standard Sizzler Twister ride. So we thought, oh, it won't go that fast. Yeah. But it actually did pick up in about the last 10 seconds. And actually, the crew on there were really good. Oh, yeah, really Because nice. they actually lined the, uh, the ride up so Steph could get in get off a lot easier so big thumbs up to the uh, ride operators there uh, well they did it thingy as well they did it that punk and fly they helped us out yeah so they've been really good here yeah so ride operator operat again <laughs> ride operators big thumbs up yeah i want to make we have a, having a good day today at yeah. all the towers so what we're going to do now if all the disco has come, if it's operating again at the moment, it's still closed. Oh. Uh, 13's on 65 minutes, but we have got trick or treat at four, right. so we're gonna have to. It's our bet, it yeah. What time is it? Well, then, well, let's go on and see what we can get on yeah. Right, guys, we're joining the queue line for. 13 roller coaster. I didn't know we were going on this, but there you go. Steph's in charge, so we do what Steph says. Don't we, Millie? Yeah. yeah. And Millie, I don't know if you've already seen this, Millie is Mavis from Transylvania today. Ooh, scary. Yeah, whoop. Don't do that, you'll scare the viewers. And then they won't watch. So, 13 roller coaster. I don't think I've ever been on this. Have you been on this one? Steph? I don't recall it. Uh, Have you been on this, Steph? Yeah, so, Miller, what have we just done? Trick or treat! Halloween trick or treat. And you got lots of goodies. Did you get scared as well at some of them characters? A bit. Yeah. I got scared of the skeleton. They were good, weren't they? Yeah. What did you think to the vampire? Good. What did you think, Dad? It was alright. How much did that cost? £12. £12, yeah, because it's not part of the uh, standard Alton's House ticket, is it? It's an no. add-on, isn't it? Just, it's like the, the uh, four scare mazes as well, you've got to pay extra for them. Right. I'd say £12 for that were worth it. The were quite good, weren't they? Yeah, well, that's it. People would say it's expensive because, yeah, you only get a few Harry Bowl treats, but it's all the characters, it's all the decoration. So it is worth it. Yeah. I mean, it cut. What we we got there at four, didn't we? Yeah. And it took us about fifteen minutes to get down. Well, it's just not too bad. No. You are. We, we wondered why we hadn't seen any of them videos for that online, and you're not allowed to take pictures or video photography in there. So that's why it's not online. But it, it's worth. Definitely sit doing it once a Yeah, but again, I wouldn't think you'd get a good video in there anyway because of all the smoke and stuff and all the special effects. Yeah, 
So anyway, going back to this afternoon, obviously last time we, we filmed, we was in the queue for 13, and to be honest, we've had a bit of a disaster this afternoon. Yeah. Because it said, is it 80 minutes when we joined the queue? Uh, when, when we, yeah, when we joined the queue, no, when we joined the queue, it said 75. Then when we was in the queue, it went up to 90, then 100. So we was like, well, we're not going to get it done in time to get to Chicka Tree Lane. Yeah, and when, uh, and while we were queuing, there were loads of people coming back further along the queue, because there was one bloke said they'd been in the queue over two hours and it wasn't even moving and they were only just halfway so like looking at a four hour queue time and to be honest we never saw the actual ride no did we no i saw it into loads of times but i never actually saw 13. yeah so i don't know if it was working and so we went over to the uh, waltzer whatever it's called uh, roller disco and that's a bit of a fast circle as well because it only seems to have like a minute night time and uh, really slow operations. I, I, I've never seen a waltzer actually when they're loading, they turn it slightly, put a few people in, and then turn it again, stop it again, load more people. And it, it takes like 10 15 minutes to load up on one, one ride, and then the ride only takes a minute, and then you're off. Yeah, but then when they, get, when they let them off, they all come off together. So yeah. why do you have to load? In individual or three cars at a time yeah. when you let them all off anyway. Yeah, so it can't be off for safety reasons why they do that, can it? If they allow everybody off to never farm it. I've never known a waltz to do that. Yeah. I did. So, that was that. And what was the other thing we were... Oh yeah, we went on like a twist uh, sizzler ride called... Flamingo, Dingo, oh, uh, Dango, <laughs> Flabio, Fabulous Fandango. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, I think we spoke about that. I think we've done there? that one. I did the trick or treat. Yeah, because we, we've been, yeah, we did Hex and we did that, didn't we? Yeah. Then we tried to get them to 13 and that was just... Joke. Ridiculous. Then we went to roll the disco, hoping we could get that done for the trick or treat lane and we didn't. Yeah, so now we're going to go over to see Beaver's Land. I have a Because really wants to see Dougie. I haven't been to Katrina Alton Towers before. I know, well you haven't been to Alton Towers before, have you? But now I have. Yeah, so we're going to go to Hay Duggy I love Going on the uh, flying cars, Miller. Yeah. The flying car right there. Yeah. The go jetters, the room 
Was für eine feste Söhne, Alter. Well, that was a good ride, wasn't it? Mm. Queued up, breaks down. Right. Is this a ride? No, it's a car. Right. So it looks like we're going into the Hay Duggy playground. Hopefully this won't break down. visit Salton Towers this is filmed a couple of days later because the afternoon went rapidly downhill and by the time we got home it was dark and we had one it's uh right so we'll talk about our feedback I will say though we did enjoy it Alton Towers yeah. I didn't think we were to be honest I thought it was gonna be another Chessington well I enjoyed it what about you two yeah it was all right it's good and what part were good Fast. It was fast. What was fast? Was it Wicker Man? Yeah. yeah you like Wicker Man, didn't you? That's a good roller coaster, isn't yeah, it? Wicker Man, it I must is. admit. First time we've been on it, and it was definitely worth it. Even just going to Alton Towers for that one ride, it was worth it. First time on it, and she had her arms up the whole time. Yeah, well, she's a bit of a thrill seeker, aren't you? <laughs> but obviously, because we're not allowed to film, you wouldn't have seen that on camera, would you? No. So. I must have made it look good on there, a vlog that would, having it on ride footage. But there you go. So we've just done an itinerary of what happened on the day so, so we can uh, go through it. So what was the first ride, Steph? Wicker Man. Oh, Wicker Man. Which we've already talked about, so it was a good ride. A good ride, yeah. I wouldn't mind riding that at night, though, at some point. Yeah, it looked better, wouldn't it, with all the flames and everything yeah. and the special effects. Yeah. It is well themed. Right round and oh yeah, and it's amazing how they built it in them because the framework is all at angles, isn't it? It's not straight like you see on American uh, woodies. I must admit though, when we were watching it in the queue, I didn't think it was that intense or that mm. there was that much to it. If you like, yeah, well, a lot of it, mm. all you tend to see actually the track is just the corners because it obviously goes around the back of in other places. So when it was when we was moving there was a film yeah there was a good build up wasn't there you know oh yeah, yeah when, when the, you walk in of, yeah yeah projector yeah that was good yeah was yeah a good build up i enjoyed it i did so then what did we do runaway then? train runaway train oh yeah i remember it was that <laughs> that's quite a funny ride because we got straight on that there was no waiting time which was a surprise weren't we but it was quite a, that part of the park. So obviously, everybody had gone over to Wickerman uh, 13 and other coasters. Mm. But yeah, straight on it. And it's weeks when you come out of the station, the track goes straight at 45 degrees. And we're like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we thought it was at Fancy Island. We were there for the way. Yeah, because that's that as well. But again, I thought we were well famous. It's a proper train on the front, isn't it? And then it's train. Oh. So, uh, and obviously the uh, ride team on there going, choo choo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're going in and out of the station. Yeah, it's um, getting added to it. I liked it. What, the choo choo? Yeah. I liked that you got two rounds as well. well. And it, yeah. it wasn't a short ride, but it wasn't a long I ride. I just love it ride. when he yeah. says. But it could have done maybe going a bit faster. Ready you know. on the body. Well, I must admit, when it... Them. When you looked at some of the corners, they were sharp and it soon whipped round them. And I love it yeah. when he says, Have fun, guys. Choo choo. Yeah, so it was good, that one, that. Yeah. But it remember, it can't be too fast because I think that one is only 0.9. Yeah. So it is for kids as well. Oh, yeah. So. It's a good ride, though, I must admit. Yeah. 
Then you got a nemesis. Yeah. Because that was walk on. Bonnet. Yeah, walk on. I've never been on nemesis as a walk on. You mean dad? Dad yeah. did, yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. get it. I couldn't go on it after that because it had already jumped right up to like 55 minutes. But yeah. when we was filming, when it, it just <laughs> yeah. blowed that hair off. We went round, we were filming at one of the corners where there was meshing, so you could mm. actually see it was where it went round the bend. Yeah. Uh, proper fast and it, like after they went round you just got this massive air and it just blew your hair up and everything didn't <laughs> it you were laughing your head off but we noticed quite a lot of people kept going there after us yeah. standing there just to wait for the train to come mm -hmm. round for the air yeah i must admit i say it is a long time well it's, it's been going a long time and it is the female is looking a bit tired it needs updating so hopefully they'll do all the female as well at the same time as well as the reed track to be honest the trains don't even need replacing even though everybody's saying oh we get new trains and stuff it was so smooth for a course that is so old mm. but because i've been on that many courses this year i thought it was a bit tame but years ago when i first went on it it wasn't tame it was proper it was proper good it was good again it was good the other day when we went on it but it's i don't know i think it's maybe because it's a bit short now compared to other roller coasters that are out there now mm. so but again one thing i will say because obviously a lot of people have to take the glasses off when they're going on rides like i do because you don't want them flying off <laughs> and i'm blind without my glasses a lot of the queuing system is actually on steps and if you haven't got your uh, glasses on, you really go for a flyer. Mm -hmm. Cause, because obviously it's built on like the side of a valley there, mm. isn't it? in the ravine. So I think uh, they need to do something like that because there's no wheelchair access at that point. I don't know if disabled people can go on another access point, you know, where it's all one level. I, I don't know. know. I've not seen it. But you won't be able to get disabled people or people on crutches down there. Yeah. Not in Mumpa Sundays. Too many steps. I uh, certainly wouldn't like to do it with crutches. No. Uh, well, you're saying that if you, you're on crutches, you'll... Well, you um, still want to ride. Yeah. yeah, as long as you've not got a cast uh, on. One thing I did notice on the ride train, when the harness comes down and it, it has a seat belt to lock you in, there's no ratchet mechanism. So, like, my, uh, like, mushroom, what come over, was, like, moving up and down from my body. So, obviously, but when you're upside down the ride, you're moving up and down with it. <laughs> Strange. You know, mm. for normal top rail courses like Odyssey, they're ratcheted right up to your body, so you just don't move anywhere. Yeah, you but just yeah, don't move. What? You just don't move. You don't move on Odyssey, no, but good ride. Though. So does it have like a seat belt though? That There's a seat yeah, belt which is, that many yeah, years. which is like a safety device, but I don't remember the seat belts on it in the past when you went on it. No, I don't uh, know. But yeah, there's obviously added safety features now. Seat Might belt. have been, but you've got to remember, it's that yeah. like 19 years ago. Yeah, it's a long, long time ago since you were last done it. Right, so then next time we Funk went... Funk and Fly. Well, oh, next ride we went on was yeah. Funk and Fly. Which one was that? That was the one that's uh, like a Super Trooper. It, yeah. Is it that? Yeah. The one that, that looked intense, that you wasn't intense. Do yeah, you mean the plane? Yeah, the pl like that. the plane. It's a strange one, isn't it? Because it pivots and it pivots both ways. And it, because it goes quite vertical and then down, you think it's going to be really intense, but it didn't really smooth. Nice ride. Yeah, but from that people that were screaming, I was like a bit mm, unsure about Millie sitting on the outside. Yeah. But then actually on it, it was like, even she said afterwards, Mummy, is that it? Mm. <laughs> So it wasn't, it, it was a good ride, but there wasn't yeah. much to it. Yeah. I loved it. It was a good flat ride, wasn't it? Yeah. So at least if we go on one of them again, because to us, we haven't seen any, any of them anywhere else, have we? No, no thing is meant to be getting yeah, one. Bottoms, bottoms is meant to be getting one. Out, getting uh, one. But we haven't, it obviously hasn't arrived yet. So yeah, good ride, good flat ride. Don't blow you away, but it's a good ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right then, also, the ride operatives on that, they were good again to see. Oh uh, yeah, they were brilliant. Yeah, yeah they helped stuff getting up and on it, so yeah, five yeah. star again, ride yeah. operatives. Right then, next one. Uh, Blade, the pirate boat. Pirate boat, yeah, that was tame. 
<laughs> you like that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it was a straight. We just had to wait for one cycle, didn't we? Then we got on. And yeah, it goes up quite high, but the ride cycle's about a minute. It's really short, which I think let it down. I don't know, yeah. I hate to say it again, but Bottoms, to me, the pirate boat was a lot better. Yeah, because you're on it for longer. Yeah. And maybe as well, because where the boat is, it's surrounded by trees, there's no real views, is there? Mm. All, you, all you've got to look at is just the mechanism at the bottom when you're right up top. There's nothing yeah. like that else to see. What good ride, did, but what, did you, yeah. what did you think to the pirate boat? Amazing. But it's amazing. You just like rides, though, don't you? Mm-hmm. One? Yeah. Right, so that's that one. And then what did we do? Uh, uh, we went on the skyline up to the X section. Yeah, it was working then, wasn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it was working then. Yeah, what we will say, the sky ride about at least three or four times during the day, we saw it so broken down. What does it look and one like? of the times it broken down, we it, were in the queue and we were in there. It that round one good, We were queuing about 40 minutes for Sky Ride when we were stuck in it. We were queuing for quite a while to get on it the first time when it yeah. was actually up and running. Yeah. You mean but the... yeah, when we wanted to get right back to the start, we were yeah. queuing for quite a while. Yeah. Do you... Right, so then what did we do? Uh, we went on Hex. Hex. Yeah, I've been on Hex before. What did you think to Hex? Hex is that one when it's like, yeah, Hex, if nobody's been on it, the actual uh, queuing area, it's really well themed, isn't it? Cause it yeah. is like the old part of the towers, and there's like, I don't know if there's supposed to be statues or corpses that are wrapped up on the walls. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that were really good, and like old fireplaces and stuff like that. Yeah, Hex yeah. was the one where you was like, we went upside down. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you sat down and there's that tree branch in front of you, but, and it's like you're going upside down, but, but you're moving, but so are the walls. But it was a bit weird where it's going upside down. Yeah. It was cool. It, it's a good ride. Yeah. It's a different ride. I think there's something like that at Europa, something similar. I think it's, uh, it's our guide land. There is something similar like that there. Um, yeah. that, places we need to investigate. Yeah. Right, so next. Oh, one more thing about Hex. The only thing I didn't like is once you went through the queue line and then you started going into the rooms, yeah. is it just seemed a mad rush for everyone to be near the front as possible. Oh, yeah, because you've, you've got the queuing room and then you're going to like this viewing room, aren't you? Where there's a screen and they give you a bit of history. Well, and yeah, cause once you come out and they say, oh, you know, because they click so many through. Yeah. Yeah, and that the bit before the doors. Yeah. Where everyone was just scrammed, didn't know where to go. She was pointing middle, even though there was no doors. There was only doors to each yeah, side. Yeah, there was a bin in the middle, even though they said fill yeah. the middle, didn't they? And then when we went through and sat room, yeah, everyone was just like yeah. speeding to the front, pushing yeah. everybody out of the way to be first into the room, yeah. but... But you can't go through the middle because that's where the tree branch is. I know. But I, d- I just don't get what the urgent rush was. No. Well, like I said to you, because me and Seth talked about this after the ride, it's like that at Disney and uh, Universal. A lot of the rides, which are like theatre-based, have these pre- pre-shows on screens like Muppet does. Mm. And everybody always bombs it and barges into the auditorium where the main ride is. They always do it. It's an American thing, and it's come over here the same thing as, quick, let's get in there, but there's only 100 people that can go on the ride. Yeah. And that's the 100 that have just been counted in that room. Yeah, and they d- but they don't think of kids who then can't see the screen. Yeah. So, but that's one of them. And they, I must admit, I didn't see many kids on it, really. Uh, but I'm going to have Half a dozen, two dozen. Yeah, there weren't that many, was there? They're no. most adults, aren't yeah. they? But it's well, not really... It's not really a kid's ride. They could have kept it in the queuing system so you could all see it, but yeah. I don't know. Just my right, opinion. So then, where there you go. Um, then Millie went on the car school. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Was it? Yeah, I loved it. I loved my car. So, what did you think to the car? It, it, which one's better? Because you've been on a couple of them, haven't you? There's one at Sundown, obviously, the one at Alton Towers. And have you been on one elsewhere? No, it's on some down. So, uh, which ones 
both. Both good? Yeah. No? Good? Yeah. I must admit, I thought it was different, like, because you had, like, a car wash. Car wash. Yeah, because there was a long thing. area and, like, a yeah. tunnel and other um, things, wasn't there? My, my current was dirty, so I gave it a little clean. Did you? I thought it was right. It was good. It was well mm. thought out. Yeah, I know there are quite a few people helping the kids. About four, four people on it, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. So that was quite good to see. Uh, uh, then what? Flavio Fantastic Fandango. Uh, Basically, Twister. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why they call it because it's such a long-winded name for that ride. I think uh, it's something to do with David Williams because oh, in that. Yeah. I must admit that when we were queuing up, because you're next to a building that's painted in purple, I thought the ride, what we're going on, wasn't the one we went on. I thought we were going to end up in the building yeah. and end up on like a dark ride or something. And then uh, w when we came up to that, I was like, well, they've got that silly name just for a twister. Yeah. Well, one thing I will say the cars on them compared to a standard twister, Sizzler, Ah, smaller, they're thinner. I don't know if it's because of the padding or what. But once we got onto the ride, the last five, ten seconds, God, it really yeah. whipped up speed, didn't it? Yeah, it did. No, I think that's the fastest one we've been on, to be honest. I don't think there was yeah. as fast as that for that intense amount of speed. Yeah. It, uh, because, it's, well, because it's smaller, I think it throws you more. I don't know if I'm thinking it, Fancy Island. I don't know. It's the last time we went on that, because he pumped it up a bit. Yeah. That went quite. Well, ma nicker. magic does as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Because really, really uh, turned on the screen. I love didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, magic's cool. But yeah, getting back to Flavio, it was a good ride. Could have been a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. again, ride I, operators. Yeah, I will brilliant. say a lot of the flat rides at Alton Towers don't seem to run long enough. No. Because we're not always stay on the. Uh, Walter thing that was short, even though we never actually got oh on it, which we'll go into later. So, anyway, after that, what did we get on? Um, if anything, uh, oh, yeah, Chica we, we queue for 13. Yeah, oh, well, I don't. Well, the one there is a carousel next to, yeah, we didn't get on that, yeah, next to Flavio's, whatever it is, and it is an identical one at Chettington, so we didn't bother going on it, did we? Did well, it's not that we didn't bother, it's that we were getting close because we wanted to do the trick-or-treat lane. Yeah. So we wanted to get some of the other bigger rides in first. Yeah, so we went to 13. Oh, when we got to the uh, start of the queue, he said 80 minutes, we checked online, didn't we? Yeah. So we thought, oh, we've got enough time, we've time to spare yeah. to get over to... That was about, Did we do trick-or-treat? Was it half one, two o'clock? Half uh, one? Half. Quarter to two, round there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so we got there at quarter two, Did we do half past three, we decided to come out of the queue because we've been in it mm -hmm. and now I'm 45 and what made us come out of it? Half so, three. Oh, ha yeah, that's what I said, half three. Yeah. yeah, when we came out of it, there was another uh, couple that apparently had been way along the queuing line and they'd been queuing for two hours and then they were absolutely ranting, never seen that like it. And they said they hadn't moved for ages. So we so we had this pre-booking for the trick-or-treat. We said, we're out of here. We're going to miss trick-or-treat otherwise. Cause we're yeah, well, them other three people that came after was with that couple. Yeah. Because they were ranting as well. I will say, yeah. there were loads of people coming out the queue line. Yeah. So, and to be honest, we never actually saw 13 cars to actually move on the tracks. I never saw it. So I don't know if it had broken down, and that's why there was just no movement. In the queue line at all, mm. it was ridiculous. It had broken down twice though. What they'd actually advertised that. What they actually advertised, Well, yeah. we think it had broken down more. Because you actually oh. thought it was, um, you actually thought the one that was 13 was was Rita. Yeah, because Rita were going all Well, the yeah, time, that was it? always going, but. Not unless it, you, you, you don't actually move in the standard queue line because of all these people with the fast pass thing. And they were taking all the spaces on the car. Don't know. Well, we'll come back. In, come back I to that. I saw quite a lot going on that fast pa that fast pass line. Yeah. So. You know our opinion on it. It's only our opinion, but yeah, well, we'll it's talk, not something we well, agree with. We're going to talk about that end. 
Right then, so, so then we then, tried Roller Disco. Then we tried Roller Disco, which is the waltzer. Again, ten. it said 20 minutes of it for keywords. I thought, we'll get on ten? there. 10 minutes. We, we said we'd get on there. And that was a joke. Because that broke down, because that was the first, that's what we were going to go on before we queued for 13. But yeah. it broke down. So that's why we got in the queue for 13. And then when we came out, it said, oh, 10 minutes. We said, oh, perfect. We've got enough time. And we didn't. Yeah, so we got there. We came out there at five to dinner. But another thing, what we noticed, uh, <laughs> we're not being picky, it's just because we've been on a few rides. We noticed when they were loading up the waltz all the towers, they did two or three cars, loaded them people up, and then rotated the ride and loaded them up again. It was just really weird to see what was going on. I've never, we've never seen a waltz loaded up that way. But the thing is, if it's not the health and safety while they're loading people up that way, how can allow everybody to walk off back of the ride at the end? I know, that's what I couldn't get my head around. So it can't be health and safety. It is it's peculiar why they do it. So, but yeah, because they take that long. Yeah. Loading and unloading. It must have took else. ease at 10 to 15 minutes just to load up. Yeah, so. Because then he was checking, he loaded them up. Chat to him, moved it, loaded them up, checked and moved. Then when everyone was on, he went back round again, checking. Yeah, checking the bars again. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Never seen that before. Me too. So then we went chuck a juicing, didn't we? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Which part did you like? Was it the characters? Was it the getting goodies? What was it? What was characters. it? The characters. The characters. Why? What did they do? Just give me sweet. And what else did they do? Were they funner? Yeah. Were they scary? Did you find them scary? Uh, no. Yeah, because no. some of them were like coming jumping out the doors, weren't they? And the skeletons and mm. yeah, I all got of the scared. Makeup. Yeah, it, that was quite good actually. Mm. And we watched when we was waiting. We watched a video. Yeah, we watched that little video, didn't we? Yeah, Puff yeah. a Clown. Yeah. Right, so then what did we do? Uh, we then... No, that was when we went back onto the Starline, at Skyline. Yeah, which broke down. Yeah. And then, so we eventually got on it, and then what did we do? Oh, well, you went to see Beebe's Land. We went to see Beebe's Land, and we queued to get on the... Go Jetters, Roomstar, Room Ride, uh, Zoom Ride. And that broke down. Yeah, while we was in the queue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the people couldn't get off. No, <laughs> couldn't um, get off. We went to the Hey Doggy Big Adventure Badge. Yeah, you went to the playground, didn't you? Yeah. I I've got, I must admit, I was a bit disappointed by the CBBS area. I like the and Postman Pat ride, which we saw, but we didn't go on it. Well, we didn't but get to go on to the uh, roller coaster that was there either. Because no, that was 60 minutes. What, yeah. what roller coaster? It was just a bit but by the time we got over there, it was like five anyway. Yeah, what roller coaster? Five and we going down, like, wasn't it? Yeah. Because so. we got, remember, you got, we got stuck at Skyline at four. Yeah. Oh no, quarter past, 20 past four, we got stuck there. So we didn't get over to the other side. Took on R5. Millie mm. went on, well, tried to go on a ride and then went on Hey Dugger. Yeah. So by then it was just getting too late. And that was it then. Yeah. So, good view of Fingy though on the skyline. And Wicker Man. Yeah. And a good playground for Hey Dugger. Yeah, and like it, didn't you? And Hey, and Chicka Trees. I don't think I thought with the Hey Doggy Land is, I, I know it's money, etc. But they could have had Hey Doggy and the characters there. I know they do the show mm. every so often. I think it's I've seen that yeah, every were, couple of hours. There was, but there was, I saw the show. There was one at half 12. And then I think it's either half 2 or half 3. And that is it. There's yeah. just two shows. Yeah. Nothing else. Do you think they'd have the character got, characters actually... Going around the playground. Yeah. 
But again, them characters could be doing something else at other times of the day. You know I mean, they they could be used what they use for the uh, trick or treat. Mm. It says uh, so they don't have to employ more people; they just utilize them somewhere else. Yeah, but again, that was one of the bad things about because they advertised on Facebook and everywhere the gates were opening at nine, yeah. even though you can't get on the rides till ten. But when we got there, we got there what ten past nine. Yeah, there were no characters anywhere. None of the Halloween characters. Nothing. No, but, yeah, because we booked it obviously for Scarefest, and there were nobody there. We, we all thought we were going to see like vampires and Dracula's and all sorts. You know, when we went in through the turnstiles, and there were nobody there. Oh, really surprised by that. Mm. Really weird. I mean, yeah. I know there is characters there, yeah. but they must come later in the day or something. Yeah, I don't see, know. Even when we were going, and it was it was getting dusk at half five, and I was in the auditorium where the uh, main entrance is and the bandstand and stuff. Yeah. There was nobody there. No. There was just obviously people sat down for whatever was going to happen, but there was nobody about as such on the paths. No. So, a bit disappointing, that. Yeah. So, I think, because we said talk about it, we will probably do a, sta a scare fest somewhere else next year. Yeah. We mm -hmm. might do Fantasy Island, because they heavily uh, advertise that. And one of the things they do, what <laughs> Steph was telling me about the other day, is you go on the Millennium Roller Coaster and they blindfold you and you're on it in the dark as well. So, I bet that's quite cool, being on that in the dark, blindfolded. Well, that's the idea, you blindfolded to make yeah. it dark. Just make sure you don't wear a gimp mask while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I just... don't even know what I'm laughing at. <laughs> I just, I mean, the decorations were brilliant, but I just thought they could have been a bit more... I love yeah, the pumpkins. The, the, the theme and all the pumpkins and hay and all that lot. Yeah. But it was only around the main entrance there. There wasn't really much around other parts of the mm, park, was there? No. I mean, I know it's a big park, but... Yeah. Well, you see it with Disney, don't they? They put the money into it and... Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they just do it in the parks where... Disney put it in the parks, but they don't do really do it at the hotels. Which is a bit strange when you go and stop in a Disney hotel. You think they do all of them, but they don't. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, so... You lost your chain of thought. I know what I'm going to say. I'm just trying to spit it out. So would you go again to Alton Towers, Miller? Yeah. Yeah? Now, what would we do? Would we go on a weekday or would we go on a weekend? Uh, because it, it was busy. Yeah. I was about how surprised by how busy it was. You know, for uh, Oktoberfest and it's... Sorry, for Scarefest. But it was also... You know, it's winter, isn't it? It's autumn mm. winter. I don't know, I must have won't mind trying a weekday just to see what the difference is, whether it is quieter. Just check the camera. Yeah, we're still pointing in the right direction. I would. Yeah. Me and Steph did talk about, about going on a weekday. I don't know how we do it because obviously we're two hours away from Upton Towers. So I don't know if we'd try and do it. But if we did it in, on a weekday, it, we won't get there till about 11 or later. We'd have to set up one to get back from middle school. So I don't know how we'd do mm. it. Other thing, what's we're all going to talk about is the dreaded fast pass. Yeah. Now, I'll let Steph talk a bit more about this because I think it's a bit of a con. But if you want. What, for the unlimited? Yeah. Yeah, for the unlimited, it's £105 per person. Yeah. So you can go on rides as many times as you want. Certain rides, it's not. Supposed so not meant to be all rides, but every ride that we I saw had it for fast pass, mm. and then I don't know, I just don't agree with it. Yeah, I, I might say because if the fevers got fast pass, it'd have been 315 pounds of my ride for yeah. the ultimate one plus part tickets, you're talking over 400. Now, how I see it, if you're doing like the top, top, top ticket for fast pass you're not getting much for your money. Because if you do the same thing at Universal, Orlando, and we haven't done it yet, this is all of what we've seen online and, and what we've seen on other people's vlogs, what you get for your money. Universal do something, and it's called a VIP pass. I think, is that £75 each? Uh, when I was, no, when I was looking for the three of us, it was 300 and... 
think 45 or 95. Yeah, so it's a similar price again. American's going to be dearer, yeah. but with the American, but it's what you got with it, yeah, but with the American one, it's completely different. You get the fast pass, which is for all day, yeah, you, you get meals. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do backstage stuff, you know, so you can actually go on film sets. And there is, you know, apparently they do meet uh, actors, actresses, actors, actors, actresses. Uh, what else is there? There's, there's all sorts thrown in, isn't it? Yeah, there's you, the you, 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 you've got your per own personal VIP tour guide, which yeah, is with for getting you, on the rides, which is with you, I think, about four or five hours. Mm. They, they go everywhere where you don't normally ever go. In the back of Universal Studios. Plus, it, on that on one of the tours, you actually get off the bus, so you can yeah, walk around. But that was California. Was that one California? Yeah, if you do it in California, oh, you you've got the like the backstage tour, which is what everybody goes on in like the subtle things. No, it does take for the Orlando one as well. It is well, yeah. yeah, but at the California one, that's where the Back to the Future sets right, are, yeah. and you can actually walk go inside the clock tower on Back to the Future. And, and you get free valet parking as well. Valet parking. The snacks. <laughs> yeah, the snacks, food, there's meals. Yeah, yeah, you get a um, three course meal, but there's also snacks as well. Have they got chocolate? I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, I'd say the Universal ones are better. And plus, when you look at the large Universal's got uh, Velociraptor and all that shenanigans. Yeah, but that's different again. Harry Potter it, rides. It's more about the experience. A fast passer. <sighs> A theme park over here is just basically about coo jumping. Yeah, people paid the money, fair enough, fair play to you, paid the money. Yeah. But everyone's there to go on the ride. Yeah. So I don't agree with it. Yeah, well, I don't know either. A married car for like, well, uh, for Universal is different because it's an experience. Mm. Plus you get, you get food. Yeah. And the, there's just stuff out of the ordinary. And I think on, how many big rides is at Alton Towers? Uh, Wickerman, Nemesis, Oblivion, Smiler. I won't go on Smiler. Thirteen. Rita. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I... it's about ten or twelve, isn't there? I think that's about it. Yeah. That's oh, there's a spinning coaster, but we didn't get on that because that was seventy-five minutes before we were leaving as well. Yeah, well, I, I think if you're going to get round all the rides in a day, you've got to go for fast pass at mm. all times. But I won't buy it myself, I don't agree with it. No. I've, and I said it's about most park. well, all parks in the UK, you should all queue together. It's just a, it's just a money-making exercise. Because the same amount of people have got to go on the rides, it's just how they're going to how prioritise them. That's all it is, prioritising certain people. But I don't agree with it as well, because I saw it a couple of times. I've seen it at Chessington, I've seen it at Alton, and they get put on the rides a lot of them get put on the rides before you so after time mm. one ride can be full a fast pass and yeah. you're still queuing so if you can hear a rider barking yeah he wants attention he wants his tea and like you don't usual. have to wait five minutes but again fast pass you use it on a sc the skyline yeah. what's that about queue jumping i so didn't agree is. with that but they should only have it on branded rides like yeah. a rides it's like we were we were queuing yeah i know it broke down but we were queuing for like nearly good an hour mm -hmm. and then people for fast pass just came in and he went oh sorry we can't let you on they've got to go first yeah even though we've been stuck there they just walked on it yeah. right, then. that's not nice so that's no, it that's our feedback that's our opinion on it's it. our opinion if you, agree you may with agree us, you may not if, if you agree with us thumbs up and again <laughs> Oh, again, uh, I haven't said it for quite a few videos. If you can, please subscribe. Yeah, and yeah. like. Okay. It does help us. And also click the notification, which will be somewhere click, over here. Click the over bell. There, <laughs> click or somewhere, somewhere over there. Click, click the bell button. Click the oh, bell yeah. button. That's it. And good. if you've got any questions or any comment feedback, please just leave it on social media on here. Yeah, we'll if, always respond as quick yeah. as we can. And if you do see us, say hi. Say hello. Uh, also, don't forget we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're out and about. Alice so keep your eye. Alice yeah, I think Twitter. I think the weekend this what goes live. 
We're at Disneyland. Yeah. So Paris. Woohoo! So keep your eyes out. <laughs> Woohoo! So keep your eyes out for them vlogs because there'll be loads coming on. Yeah. Uh, and we're there for quite a while, so we should have uh, fun. And when we get back from uh, Disneyland, we've got some more theme parks coming up. We yeah, have, got before the winter closure. So anyway, everybody keep safe. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>